this as a look into my nano suite. A bathroom, kitchen, workspace, and a place to sleep. Just give it a pull. It's the basics, designed to fit within 140 square feet. It's a different type of living. It's something that certainly in the North American uh, realm we're not, we're not used to. It's the newest style of on-campus living at the University of British Columbia. And 71 students will be calling this tight space home for the new school year. I don't think we've seen it actually elsewhere in North America in a student housing setting. I'm not used to living in such a small room, but honestly, they designed this really well and everything seems to fit. What are being called nano suites represent about 10% of the units in UBC's newest residence. The $77 million building will house 650 additional students on campus. But despite all those new spaces, the university says there are still about 6,000 students currently on their wait list. Housing uh, at UBC is a significant challenge in terms of the number of units we have, the, the supply we have versus the demand. It's one of the reasons why these nano suites were built, as part of the solution to relieve pressure on demand. It's also why the residence was built on top of the already existing bus terminus. Again, another way of maximizing the use of space. But the university says above all, these suites address a major concern for students, affordability. While the university acknowledges such a compact space Space may not be for everyone. They say this is a good option for someone on a budget. A one-bedroom unit in this residence will set you back about $1,300 a month. A studio, about $1,200. A nano unit, just $700. For this third year student, here, this was the only way she could afford to check off all the boxes on her checklist. I really wanted something on campus to be alone and like this literally fit everything I wanted so I'm really happy with this. Over the next two years, UBC says it'll collect feedback from residents to determine whether or not more nano suites should be built on campus. And in a region with a housing crunch, the university says it wouldn't be surprised if these suites inspire builders off campus. It doesn't suit everybody by any stretch, but it could suit uh, people beyond, beyond students as well. At UBC, Isabel Regem, City News.